Hey, DR here. Haven't done a video in a while, so I decided I should do a new one. And this time, I decided that we should try a Sega 32X game. So here I got the Star Wars Arcade. I like the, how the 32X has a nice spinning logo. And one thing I noticed about playing the 32X is that in person it makes like this little screeching sound. I don't know if any of you out there have it, so you probably don't know what I'm talking about. So we're gonna start, try the 32X mode because that's uh, the one we're Attention, doing. And I guess we're gonna do the standard pilot. The voice acting was pretty cool, I guess, for the time being. Wipe On a home console, you have to think about it that this was pretty advanced for the time that it came out. I mean, now it pretty much sucks and it's total garbage, but it's it's, it's still entertaining. I, this is my one of my favorite Sega games. I think it only cost me like what a hundred dollars to get the 32x, and then another fifteen to buy this game. So all you really have to do is circle around and then find the TIE Fighters and just shoot them down. There we go, there too. I'm not bad in my range now. There's this little um, correction bar right above the radar that shows you how many left you have to get. Oh, I got hit. Shit. This game can be annoying at times, because the TIE Fighters have faster speed than you. And you can run out of time, unlike the beginning of the level, or the game, whatever you want to call it. I got 90 seconds to destroy the last four. That's one. Oh, they're just like circling around me now. Shit. Three. Oh, there's four, there's four, there's four. Ah, that's all of them. It goes into this autopilot sequence, it'll just basically show you that you're going Wipe to them. Enemy fighter. And it's basically the same thing. Oh, that was interesting. I noticed that there's only two models for the TIE Fighter. I think I should put throw like a little more into that. And the Star Destroyers could have been rendered a little bit better than they are. But that's okay, it's a, it's a home version. So this, this was originally in the arcades, and it's a pretty much a proven fact that no home version can live up to the arcade version. In such games like Street Fighter and, and like this rock, for example. I've been trying to hunt down a, an arcade version of this, but have had absolutely no luck as to that yet. I'm gonna crash into the Star Destroyer just to see what happens. That wouldn't happen. What? I went through it? <laughs> 
Take a very of action. Oh. I don't even know where the health is. Oh, never mind. Now I know where it is. And everything on the 30 Rex tends to have this popping effect. You can probably see it. Because... Go. Oh. Yeah, I'm just done. I don't want to do any more. So that's um Star Wars the arcade game on the Sega 32X. There's not really much to it. It's just basically a space shooter. And up next, I have a video coming for Rinduri, who won the contest to be my. What was it, 400 subscriber, and he decided to choose the Lion King, so that video will be up next.